following video is rated PG-13, which may contain scenes and themes unsuitable for people under the age of 13. Yo, Stanley is preparing to rot the waterhole complex in Water Lane. She is looking for some secret documents about the Iron Guns and the Iron Dogs Captain Merlin mission. You have an idea why he broke it. You want to rot the waterhole just so you can get your hands on the secret documents. I'm not letting that happen. The Iron Dogs will not come back. It's so obvious that the Iron Dogs are trying to give you a message. I don't want to hear any more of this propaganda, alright? Paul, nobody knew I was in New Orleans in a coma, and I secretly used that decoy in the burning car that exploded, but nobody saw me. So the whole thing was set up the whole time? That's right. Freeze! <laughs> Armed police say the wombat, you are being placed under arrest for attempted robbery. You stay the hell away from Zadie. You're embarrassing me. I don't want to drag you into this trap, Rosa. You are the only woman that I ever want to be with. I love you, Rosa. It's the only words I can say to you. Is that all that matters, James? Yes, Rosa. Nothing else. Just you and me. I, well, I just don't know what to say. What? It's true, isn't it? I love you, Rosa. I always have. But we barely know each other. Why are you asking me that question? Life is short, Rosa. You know what love is, don't you? I never stop thinking about you. We can try building a happy life here. It's no big deal. James? Listen. We are not supposed to make love in this hospital. We are colleagues. We have to keep this relationship professional. I know. I understand. I'm sorry, I just got out of hand. It's okay. But next time, watch it. Oh, sorry. Am I interrupting something? Oh no, not at all. James and I are just storing some medicine. Oh? Right. Well, good luck with that. Hi, family. Hi, Ant. How's it going? Not much, though. Something happened last week. Oh god, what happened this time? Did somebody die? Actually, yes. In fact, Louis Gibbs was shot and killed. Gideon killed him. Thank God. But that's not all. The FBI shut down the Iron Dogs and arrested all members for the riots and crimes they caused. Wait, that's it. The Iron Dogs are gone. Yup, just like that. Oh, thank heavens. It's finally over. I know, right? If it wasn't for the FBI, all of Minecraft share would have been ruined forever. So now that those criminals are gone, we're now feeling safe again. I guess we got world peace after all. But wait, what about the Ender Wombat Mafia? Stuff them. It's not as threatening as the Iron Dogs were. We'll just carry on with our lives as normal. Jack Swenson, early 50s, murdered and pushed off a ravine. Anything, Anything we know about the suspect, suspect so far? Only a little. Forensics said that Jack was strangled because of the red marks on his neck. Jack was apparently spying on the Ender Wombat Mafia and knew about Sadie's attempted robbery at the Waterhole Complex. Do you know who was the one who ordered the killing? Yes. It was Carmen Mariposa, the capo of the Mafia. Carmen Mariposa? What kind of a cartoon character would be involved with the Mafia? That's exactly what I was thinking. We need to try to track down Carmen Mariposa before she can strike again. The last thing I want is another murder, because it would only make things complicated. Dr. Horton, 
Yes, about the patient you brought in last week. Jeffrey Hodges. Jeff said he wanted water, but you instead gave him a fizzy drink. Take Pepsi or Fanta as examples. Oh, damn, I'm sorry about the mix-up, I've got the wrong drink. Then where did you get those fizzy drinks from? From a vending machine? Geraint, you do know that we don't have vending machines in the hospital. I mean, what the hell were you thinking of serving Pepsi to a patient? Dude, just leave him alone. He's only doing his job. Stay out of it, Arthur. Now listen. I do not, and I mean never, serve fizzy drinks in this hospital. Unless you're in the staff room drinking them in private. Whatever. But next time the patient asks for a drink, just serve him some water. Okay? I hear you. Sorry, boss. Oh, you must have discharged a patient, haven't you? Oh, don't ask. Wait, what happened to you? Are you okay? No, I am not okay. I just woke up with the worst hangover in my life. I partied last night and I didn't go to bed until 4am. And now I woke up at 6. Look at the state of me. You're feeling hot. Do you have a flu? Look, just shut up and let me work. But not like this. You should go and get some rest. What's happened to Wesley? What happened? Are you all right? Wesley, help. I need a doctor here. So guys, how was the trick to water lane? It was okay. However, there have been some downsides. What are you talking about? Well, what we're about to tell you is shocking. The Iron Dogs threatened to nuke water lane and even all of Minecraft. What? What, 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 what kind of people would threaten like that? that? What they, what they said, said was pure evil. evil. They, they would have would dropped, dropped the nuclear bomb. Take it easy. The Iron Dogs are not a problem in Minecraft Shia anymore. The FBI put an end to it. Well, thank God for that. I guess we're in peace now. So let's just forget about those gangster creeps. Exactly. But at least the Iron Dogs are not in Saint Ranch. So that's making things better, I guess. Oh and, you're so funny. I can't wait to see you with the pizzas when I get home. Okay. I'll be home in a few seconds. Bye. Go in somewhere. What do you want from me? Shut up, woman. De or you understand. You are gonna listen torstai everything, is a wet hair you like it or not. Oh my god. It was you. You threatened me with that propagandist phone call. I know what happened with the Iron Dogs. I know why the FBI stopped them. How the hell did all of this happen? Listen, the Iron Dogs are terrorists and tried to blow up Minecraftia, but they- Sir, you helped the FBI shoot the Mafia down, didn't- I got nothing to do with all of this, I swear. Fine, you know what? I reckon it is time to fix this. No, come on. Get the panties. No, stop it. I'm gonna fuck. <laughs> now the whole world is going to see how much pain you will be in. Have a nice walk back home, bitch. What the hell happened? I have no idea. He was feeling sick and suddenly he just collapsed. I don't know what's wrong with him. Wesley, what did you do? I didn't do anything. I went to a friend's house party last night 
and I was so crashed out that I had to sleep at 4am and wake up at 6. I must have had a midnight hangover or whatever you call it. You only slept two hours? Wesley, what the hell were you thinking? Not getting enough sleep is not good for your health, and do you know why? It's because you would get hot and potentially put your own health at risk. So is this like you're getting the flu all because you don't get enough sleep? I mean, that's just stupid. It's not stupid, it's dangerous. If Wesley goes out to a party again, it'll only make things worse. I get it. I'm sorry, it won't happen again. Then make sure not to jeopardize your health again. Well, did you find Carmen yet? Well, no. I didn't. In fact, we looked for her all over the country, but she was never there. What? what? Has she, she fled, fled the country, country or, something? or something? Actually, it's different. We looked around Carmen's hideout in the tree bunker hood, but what came was a surprise. Turns out that Carmen Mariposa never actually existed. What are you talking about? It turns out that Carmen Mariposa was created as an artificial intelligence who takes control of all of the Ender Wombat Mafia. Turns out that Carmen Mariposa was created as an artificial intelligence who takes control of all of the Ender Wombat Mafia. So who exactly created Carmen anyway? The one million dollar question.